Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. To recap, in the last few episodes, we went through the retail AI desk categorization use case and imported the five category of desks in Vertex AI using the data capture module and trained the module and looked at the evaluation result. In this week's episode, we will deploy the model as an endpoint and invoke it. To get started, click on the fashion model. Click on Deploy and Test tab and click Deploy to Endpoint. Click Create a new endpoint and provide a name. You can select Standard or Private Access. Private Access is currently available for custom model only and Private Access is used where you don't need to expose the prediction functionality publicly over the internet. Click Continue. For the traffic split, specify 100 since we have only one endpoint and if you roll out new versions of endpoint you can specify how much proportion of your traffic goes to the new version and roll out changes incrementally into production for our demo we specify one node only but for a production environment specify a minimum of two nodes for failover also enable logging to view the logs in the centralized cloud logging dashboard so it will take a few minutes to deploy the endpoint. Once the endpoint is deployed, let's test our endpoint by uploading a dress image. So I had kept aside many images for my testing which I had uploaded to Vertex AI. So I'll go ahead and use those images and to start with I'll upload an image for a maxi dress. You would see the maxi dress being returned as the highest confidence score. So our model is working as expected. You can also invoke the endpoint via the REST call. Click on the sample request and you would see the steps and JSON request format for invoking the endpoint, including the curl command. Now let's take another example. Let's import a bodycon dress and see the results. In this case, we get 95% accuracy. So this basically tests out our model using the endpoint. Next, click the fashion endpoint. And you can see the prediction per second and the latency for the endpoint. To view the logs for the endpoint, you can click on view logs, which displays the request and the response for the endpoint. And for any errors, you can use the log console and debug it further. So this completes our model testing using the endpoint. As you see, Vertex AI provides a unified approach and streamlines the entire machine learning development and deployment process. Hope you found the information useful. With this, we wrap our this week's episode. Please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and happy learning.